Welcome back to another uh, project here on with the Raspberry Pi CNC. Uh, I figured I would just show a quick video of my workflow on getting it from uh, get it, getting a project started here on the machine. So uh, as you can see, I already did put my uh, um, uh, my material down on the on the work table, and uh, it's a quarter inch PVC. And it's covered with the uh, the blue is the aura mask. Um, I'm going to use that to uh, mask out some areas that are going to get painted afterwards. Uh, so this is a uh, my new table that I just built yesterday. And uh, so there's the Raspberry Pi controller, the Mach 3 pendant, um, the uh, there's my probe just hanging off of the screw, and here's my uh, the computer itself or the monitor rather. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, I've already downloaded my G-code onto a um, stick and we're going to go ahead and plug it in here, if I can see. Oop, helps to go in the right direction. There we go. When you do that, the uh, Raspberry Pi is going to recognize it and that, that it's in there. So I go ahead and I click OK to open up the file manager. I grab the file that I want and I drop it onto my desktop and then I minimize this I don't uh, usually escape out of it I just minimize it so it's sitting right here on the uh, on the desktop um, you to I don't believe that BC and C can read the pieces off of um, the thumb drive itself so you have to drop it on here so you can just see some of the other projects that I've been playing with so um, I already had BC and C started up here. Um, I had just done a leveling pass on uh, my spoil board. So we're gonna break it in and uh, do this project. Um, so first thing I'm gonna do um, when you when you open up BC and C is you're gonna open the connection. Um, this one will say it'll say open. You're gonna click it and then once it says idle up here, uh, you're going to see that it, the little button has changed to close here. So um, that's where what that looks like. And now we're going to go to open. It's going to bring open this uh, little window. Um, what was the name of that thing again? Uh, oh, welcome, welcome sign something. Let's see here. Where is it at? Welcome sign icons. There we go. And then we're going to open that, and it's going to bring it up somewhere on the screen do, 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 do. there we go it's all the way down here so we're gonna use the wheel on the mouse to uh, zoom in and uh, we're gonna move it around a little bit to get it nice and centered um, it should be noted too I already did uh, zero the machine uh, to this uh, corner right down here on the material um, and uh, so but to do that though typically is uh, you know you, you I put the bit in where I want it zeroed and then you just go in here with your mouse and you click zero and zero uh, then I usually what I'll do is I will move the bit into the middle like where it's at now and I will perform a probing function so I'll do that for you I already did it, but I'll do it again. Just put my little alligator clip on there. And there's that. Now, coming back over here to BC and C, um, under the control tab is where I have my probe button. So I'll hit that. And the probe will do its thing very slowly. go so it's all ready to go um, so that I don't forget I immediately unhook it otherwise I'll start running the program with it on there and then we're ready to go so uh, you can see this is what I'm cutting out these are uh, I'm making a welcome sign and it has a little spot that you can change out for the seasons and holidays and all that stuff so I made these ten little uh, um, different things to represent and uh, um, keep
keep on rolling. So now all that we have to do now is just hit the play button, uh, or start button rather, but uh, you need to turn it on and get it going. So it's all done. Now what? Um, now if this is the last thing that you're cutting today, then uh, it's easy enough just to go in here. Um, I go back to the file screen, uh, close the connection, wait for it to finish, there you go, so it says not connected, and then I'll hit exit. Um, from there, I'll just go right up in here to the uh, Raspberry Pi screen, or uh, menu go to shut down and shut the whole thing down so I'm actually gonna do some more work so I'm not gonna do that right now but uh, um, I, don't, I don't know if some of you may have noticed or may not have I kind of messed up when I realized after I started cutting that uh, I put the wrong bit into the cutter that's a down cut bit a, uh, ABS um, you know P or PVC whatever this is uh, it doesn't really like down cut bits um, because it's packing the material back down in here and, it, and the stuff gets kind of hot so it kind of remelts itself back in, into those little crevices um, so uh, I realized that after I started but I was like oh well, too late now cutting it anyway so uh, um, yeah but anyway so yeah so that's my my uh, workflow on uh, doing a project with the Raspberry Pi CNC and BCNC uh, software. Until next time, take care.